Hey loves, welcome back to my channel. I am Ijoma and in today's video, we are going to learn how to cut a corset with an asymmetric waistline. Here is the full pattern of the gown. Here is the fabric that I'll be using for this tutorial. I have my Ankara and I have my doll face. The doll face will be used for the half length. Right here, I will join my pattern into two i joined my pattern into two so that i can get the full length of the gown that i want to cut i want to cut a short gown and we will cut out this this pattern on fold you have to fold your pattern before cutting your pattern paper before cutting out this pattern reason is because we are cutting an asymmetric waistline a one-sided waistline i will have to fold this pattern to avoid mistakes so if you are cutting an a-line gown you should join your pattern so that you can have a long pattern for your long a-line dress i don't know if you get first of all we are going to mark out the proper vertical and horizontal measurements that we normally use when cutting out our gown i will show you guys how to cut this as a corset and as a normal busty first of all i'll measure my shoulder from there, I will mark 8 inches for my armhole, 10 inches for my bust point, 13 inches for my under bust, 17 inches for my half length, 27 inches for my hip line, and 36 inches for the full length. After the 36 inches, I will add extra 1 inch for seam allowance to the skirt part. I am cutting a short gown. Right now, I will go ahead and rule the lines after rolling the lines i label them and this is what i have here i will measure my dart line from the center i will measure four inches for my dart line and i will ext extend my dart line by 1.5 above the chest line above the chest line 1.5 above the chest line because i want the bra up to cover my bust i will go ahead and roll this four inches line down to my half length from my half length to that area where i extended my chest line by 1.5 i will go ahead and mark my neckline the neck width that i'm using is four inches for the neck depth i want to use three inches for now this is for the yoke three by four four by three three by four so i'll go ahead and connect this neckline this is how i want it to be for now i will still change the neckline for the upper bust or that area we extended you will mark our sweetheart neckline you can see the way that i'm marking out my sweetheart neckline you can use a free hand your free hand to do this or you can use your armhole curve to mark out this yoke so i have my yoke right now you can go ahead and label it at this point at the under bust i will take out one inch one inch on each side of this dart line at the under bust then i will connect to my bust points i will connect the both the both one inch to my bust point and at the chest line that area where i marked my yoke I will take out one inch, one inch on each side of this pattern, of each, on each side of this dart line. So guys, I divided this video into two. We have the pattern drafting and the sewing. The pattern is so long, so I had to take my time to explain it very well so that the sewing video will be very easy for us to understand. Done taking out my upper bust and under bust side thing. Right now, I will extend that one inch line, one inch line to the half length. That's one inch. I will extend it to the half length. You can see what I have now. Let's just assume we are cutting a normal busty for now. So after that, I will go ahead and take my bust measurement divided by four plus two inches seam allowance. Then i'll go ahead and mark what i got at the waistline i will divide my waist by four that is at the half length i'll divide my waist by four then you add back two inches for your dart allowance remember that we took out one inch one inch for this dart you go ahead and add back the one one inch that will be two inches plus another two inches for seam allowance after doing that you go ahead and mark what you got 
you add back your darts and you also add a normal two inches seam allowance right now i'll go ahead and connect from my half line to my bust and our normal bust here is out so right now i will measure my hip my hip is 40 divided by 2 divided by 4 that is 10 plus 2 inches seam allowance that is 12 at the knee line i will divide my hip by 4 and i will not add any allowance my hip divided by 4 is 10 i had to mark the 10 at the full length without adding any allowance that's just the shortcut for me when getting my knee circumference right now i'll connect from my half line to my hip line and from my hip line to my full line this is what i have right now i'll go ahead and cut out my neckline my armhole and the rest of the body but before i do that i want to curve my armhole properly I divided the length of this armhole into two that is eight divided by two four then at that four I came in by half an inch at that midpoint of the armhole I came in by one point by 0 0.5 inch 0 0.5 inch then I'll go ahead and connect my proper armhole right now I will cut out my neckline my shoulder slants the armhole and the normal full body measurement that is what we are going to do right now before we proceed to the next step so that we will not get confused you can see what i have here i have my normal full gum right now i'll open up this pattern you will understand why i said that you should cut your pattern on fold i'll open up this pattern and i will extend all the lines that i marked so that they will appear on the other side of the pattern paper i am extending all the lines after doing that, I will go ahead and fold back this pattern. Then right now, we will have to bring down this dart to where it is supposed to stop at. So I want my own dart to stop at 22 inches. If you want yours to reach 24 or 23, that's fine. But I want mine to stop at 22 inches. I will go ahead and extend this that line to that 22 inches point and you can see the way i'm connecting it to the under bus now you mark a triangle you connect it to that 22 inches line so the other line that i marked is not valid this is our new dart the length of our dart is okay for what we want to cut out right now i'll open up my pattern paper I'll open it up and this is the time for me to mark my asymmetric waistline first of all I will take out the two two inches that I added for our normal seam allowance remember that while I was cutting I was adding two two inches for seam allowance this pattern is open right now I want to mark out those two two inches seam allowance I am done marking on the left hand side and I am marking on the right hand side. I will take out my 2 2 inches so that when I mark my asymmetric waistline, it will not change after joining my gown. I don't know if you understand. I am done marking out my 2 inches seam allowance. Right now, I will determine where I want my asymmetric waistline to stop at, like the slanted one. I want to determine where it will stop at. So I chose 25 inches. It will start from my half length and it will slant down to 25 inches. If you want yours to reach your hip line, that will be okay. But this 25 that I marked is okay. So you can see that this line started from the half length and it went down to 25 inches. I have extended my dart line to touch that area as well. Right now, I will cut out this skirt part. We are done with the skirt part. We have gotten what we wanted. And you can see that all this slanting that I did started from the seam allowance area. This is the left and this is the right. I'm labeling it so that we will not get confused. You can see our allowance. I'll keep the skirt aside. Back to the basic 
bodies that we have i'll go ahead and cut out my yoke and i'll also cut out my dart lines i will cut out the upper bust and the under bust tightening i will cut that out and i will cut my center piece So this one is for the people that want to sew a normal bust here. You can see what I have right now. I am arranging my pattern paper and you can see that the waistline is out. You can see the yoke. This one is for people that want to cut a normal bust here. Then if you want to cut a corset, I will show you how to cut out your corset. It is very easy. Let me arrange the pattern paper so that you guys can understand clearly what we just cut right now we have our skirt part and we have the upper bodies we have our yoke we have the center and the side pieces and i labeled everything i labeled the right the left the center because this is an asymmetric waistline so that we will not misplace any piece so back to the people that want to cut out a corset for their own you will fold your center piece and the side you will place the side pieces together at the bust point of the center piece you will come in by half an inch at the bust point of the center piece you will extend that half an inch to your neckline you will come in by 0.5 you extend it to the neckline and you will curve it to the under bust i have curved to the under bust and i want to extend that 0.5 to my neckline i am done extending you can see that our center cup is out the shape of our center cup is out right now i will cut it out it is very simple once you have gotten your normal bust here determining determining the corset will be very easy for you the center piece is out then for the side pieces i will go in by 3.5 inch because i have a small bust I'll go in by 3.5 inch. Then from there, after marking the 3.5 inch, from there, I will curve to my underboss and I'll also connect it to my armhole area. You see how I'll connect this? I have connected it to my underboss and up to my neckline or armhole area and this is what we have right now our corset is out this one is for people that want to make theirs a corset this waistline is a kind of technical if you want to pad it or if you want to make it a corset it is technical somehow this is just for the front we are done cutting out the front pattern and this is what we have we have the left we have the center we have the right and we have our bra cup pieces i cut out this pattern paper on fold so we have almost all we have all the pieces right here you can see what i have and this is my yoke you can see the shape is out already over to the back i am done marking out my zipper allowance i used two inches for my zipper allowance i have my chest line my half length the hip line the full length and allowance i have marked the shape of my yoke so right now i will first of all mark my waist measurement i don't want to use a dart for this gown at the back at the back but if you want to use a dart you can go ahead and mark your dart and then mark the rest but i'm not using a gown for it so i marked my waist my waist i divided it by four and i added two inches seam allowance then my hip is 40 divided by four that is 10 plus 2 inches, 12. At the knee line, I marked 10. And that is all for my skirt part. The back part of this dress will have a normal half length. It will have a normal straight half length. And the half length will stop at the half length. It will not be asymmetric. All of them will be equal. Right now, I am done with the skirt part. And I will go ahead and cut it out the back pattern is very simple and the skirt part will have a zipper allowance 
that is all for the skirt part right now we'll move over to the upper part of the back so right here i have my neckline i have my yoke at the waistline i told you guys that i will not add that at the waistline i will measure my waist divided by four plus two inches seam allowance at the bust i'll measure my bust divided by four plus two inches seam allowance and you can see the back part is very simple if you want to add a dart you are free to add a dart but i am not adding any dart to this i will go ahead and cut out my shoulder slant my armhole the side the neckline and the yoke if you want to lace yours at the back you can lace it you have to cut off your zipper allowance and you also have to reduce the center back by two inches right here this is all we have for the back you can see that the back is very simple here is the fabric that we are using you have our ankara we have our doll face the doll face is for the bodies or the corsets part of the front that is where i will use the doll face only for the rest of the gown i will use my ankara right now i will open up my fabric for the skirt part you will not cut out your skirt part on fold remember you will open up the fabric because the waistline is not straight it is slanted it is asymmetric right now i have opened up my fabric and i'll place my skirt pattern on it i will also go ahead and cut out so when cutting out remember to add half an inch seam allowance around the waistline because we use this half an inch to join the corset part to the skirt part of this gown remember to add half an inch and i will mark the wrong part of my skirt to avoid issues i know my right side and my wrong side right now so here is for the back i have folded the fabric the back will be two the waistline will be equal everything will be equal i added half an inch seam allowance to the skirt part that is around the waistline then i will cut out the sides and also my zipper allowance We are done i'll go ahead and mark the wrong side of the fabric to avoid issues and i'll also mark the down part of this skirt so that i will not misplace the waistline that is all for the skirt so back to the pattern of the front i want to close this pattern before cutting it out on my fabric you can cut it out one one but i want to close my darts i will use my masking tape and close my darts I've closed the left side. Here is the right side. I will also close the right side. So if you have any correction, you can make it on this pattern before cutting out on your main fabric. You can see that the Asymmetric waistline is not that straight after placing everything. I will correct it on my fabric. I will add half an inch seam allowance around my waistline. That is what I will use to join the skirt part to my corset area. And I will also add half an inch round the bracket area. I'm cutting out my waistline. I'll add half an inch round the bracket area. And that is all for the upper parts or the corset parts. I will use the doll face as the lining. So right here, I have two pieces and I'm marking the lining. I'm marking on the lining to avoid issues. I am done with that and I will place my skirt on it so that you guys can understand what I have been cutting all this well. You can see what i have right there i'll just go ahead and do a little trimming and that's it 
so guys we'll stop here for today on tuesday or tomorrow be monday i will upload the sewing tutorial the sewing tutorial will be very easy because i have explained the cutting here is the back and that is where we will stop for now please do not forget to subscribe so that when i upload the sewing video you will get the video and turn on your notification bell so that you'll be notified anytime i upload a new video i have added my interface to my doll face i have cut out the black curves and that is all for now see you guys in my next video bye